Hi, my name is Laura Kilgore, and today I'll be giving a persuasive speech on the Fortune 500 Pepsi Company. Um, first off, I want to let you hear a little jingle. Um, it is the very first jingle that Pepsi came out with, and it was actually the very first jingle that any company had come out with, and so I want to give you all a listen to this. Now go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. More bounce to the ounce, more bounce to the ounce. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. Then why take less when Pepsi best? More bounce to the ounce with Pepsi. Ooh, Pepsi. Popularity? That's what Pepsi's got most of. Pepsi gives more fun, more bounce to the ounce, and more for your money, too. Wherever the crowd gathers, you're sure to find Pepsi. So why take less when Pepsi's best? Buy Pepsi by the cotton. And that was Pepsi's very first jingle, um, and like I said, actually the very first jingle that any company had come out with. And this actually put Pepsi on the top because of this new, um, this new way of advertising. Pepsi Company was the first to break the chains of normal advertising, but along the years have allowed companies such as Coke to rise above them. If Pepsi Company were to improve their advertising, Pepsi Company would would and could probably rise to the top. Um, like I said, the jingle was the very first, and this was new. Um, advertising had not had not been that um, that creative ever, and adver advertising at that at that time period would just be um, people drinking Pepsi and being like, "Buy Pepsi today," or people drinking Coke, "Buy Coke today," and this was the extent of it. Well. Pepsi decided to take it to the next level and create a jingle for the people and so it would be more memorable. Um, if Pepsi, Pepsi, this this brought them and this made them the top competitor. Um, every every company from then on would look at Pepsi and see that the, the bar that they had raised um, when it came to advertising and other companies would follow suit. Coke um, then started to take it to the next level. Um, in an article that I read, it said Pepsi and Pepsi silenced Super Bowl ad buy. Um, a the author says Pepsi Company took new took a completely new approach to advertising. Um, but then Pepsi, I mean I mean Coke, I'm sorry, Coke would uh, take it to the next level as we can see in later years. Coke would not only have a jingle or a slogan. But they would have a dance, a choreographed dance that people in the in the advertisements would do, and this was huge because it was something new. Um, they had not they had not only taken what Pepsi had done and um, done that, but they had made it better with dances or with things that are more memorable, such as that. Um, in an article, Littman says Coke used what Pepsi created and took it to took it much further, and we see that with these dances. Um, Pepsi needs to refresh, and this is a solution. Pepsi needs a either a new slogan or a um, new jingle or um, whatever the case may be. Pepsi needs to refresh, um, no pun intended, with the fact that we're talking about drinks. But um, there in an article, Lavier says, I know Coke wants to open happiness, but I have no idea what Pepsi wants to do. And this is so true. People don't know about Pepsi. People don't know um, what Pepsi's slogan is. I couldn't tell you what Pepsi's slogan is uh, had, had I not researched Pepsi. Um, people don't know what Pepsi, their slogan, they don't know their trademark anymore. Pepsi has lost um, its lead because Coke has become has become the top because of their open up, opening up happiness and their, their dances and their, their advertisements. But no one knows about Pepsi, I'm afraid. Um, another solution is that people need to know what Pepsi has done. Pepsi is a huge worldwide corporation, and I believe that they would have more support had, had if the people knew what Pepsi actually did. 
Um, Pepsi, um, like I said in my other speech, Pepsi gives back. Pepsi is a huge donator to people in need. And um, Pepsi, just in product-wise, is, is so much bigger than Coke. Pepsi has food, they have snacks, and they have beverages. They don't only have carbonated beverages, but they have healthy drinks like Gatorade. They own, they own Gatorade, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, if Pepsi were to get the word out about what they do, um, not in a boastful way, but just in an informative way, I believe Pepsi would have more followers and more um, supporters. In conclusion, um, Pepsi has been second best and is today second best in the beverage world because of, I believe, advertising issues. Um, if Pepsi became came, came up with a new slogan or um, a new jingle or let, let the people know what they actually do, Pepsi would possibly rise to the top because of its new supporters.